The Life and Death of Saint Anastasia It is Christmas Day, this December 25th. The whole Christian world is celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. But did you know that the Catholic Church is also commemorating on this same day, the Feast of Saint Anastasia, a martyr of Sirmia? Who is she? Let us get to know her. Saint Anastasia Stritzula is also known as Saint Anastasia of Sirmium, Anastasia the Pharmacolytria, deliverer from potions, the patron saint of people suffering from poison, martyrs, and weavers. She is a Christian saint and martyr who refused to deny her faith in Christ during the time Christians were persecuted by Emperor Diocletian. She was burned alive. She is one of the seven women, along with the Blessed Virgin Mary, commemorated by name in the Roman canon of the Mass. She was born in the second century, whose father, Pretextatus, was a noble pagan and mother, Saint Fausta of Sirmium, who was secretly a Christian and raised Saint Anastasia with Christian values. When Saint Anastasia's mother died, her father gave her in marriage to Publius who was also a pagan. But she preserved her virginity by feigning illness. She visited the prisons by dressing herself in beggar's garb and was accompanied by one servant. She fed, provided medical care, and often rescued prisoners who were suffering for their faith in Christ. But her servant informed her husband about it, so Publius had beaten and locked her up in their house. Then Saint Anastasia started to communicate covertly with her teacher, Chrysogonus, the pious Christian who also became a saint. He told her to be brave, patient, and accept the Lord's will. He prophesied the imminent death of her husband in the sea, who indeed died by drowning as he set out to Persia. After her husband died, Saint Anastasia started to distribute her possessions to the less fortunate and suffering. Emperor Diocletian learned that the prisoners of Rome who were Christians had phlegmatic endurance to tortures, so he ordered to kill them all in one night, while Chrysogonus was sent to him at Aquileia. Saint Anastasia shadowed her teacher from afar. Her teacher was questioned by the emperor himself, but Chrysogonus did not renounce his faith, so the emperor ordered to behead Chrysogonus and throw him into the sea. Once thrown, the waves carried his body and head to the shore where Zoilus, a presbyter, found his relics by divine providence. Zoilus placed it in a casket and hid it in his home. Saint Chrysogonus, who appeared to Soilus told him that martyrdom of Agape, Chiwan, and Irene, April 16, the three sisters living nearby, was imminent. He also told him to send Saint Anastasia to them as encouragement. Saint Chrysogonus also prophesied that Soilus would die the same day. All those prophecies happened after nine days. Soilus died while sleeping, while the three sisters were tortured. Then Saint Anastasia buried the sisters. As requested by her teacher, Saint Anastasia continued the ministry to Christian prisoners from city to city, provided medical care to the captives, and treated the wounded and suffering. Due to these works, Saint Anastasia was given the title, Deliverer from Potions or Pharmacolytria, because, through her intercessions, many were healed by her from the potions, poisons, and other harmful substances. When Saint Anastasia came to one of the prisons and found no one there, she wept loudly that made the jailers realize she was a Christian. So she was arrested in Illyricum and was taken to the prefect of the district. He tried to sway her to deny Christ by threatening her with torture but failed to persuade her, so she was handed over to the pagan priest, Ulpian in Rome. He offered her to choose between riches and luxury or suffering and tools of torture in which Saint Anastasia chose devices of torture. 
she was given three days to think again. Alpian, who was smitten by her beauty, tried to defile her purity. But when he tried to touch her, he became suddenly blind and his head ached into extreme pain, screaming like a madman. Then he fell and died on his way to the pagan temple where he was supposed to request the idols for help. Saint Anastasia was set free and continued to care for the Christian captives. She had a devoted helper, Theodota, a young pious widow, who was later interrogated when it became known that she was a Christian. Saint Theodota kept her faith and was martyred along with her three sons. Their bodies were thrown into a red-hot oven after the lengthy torture. Saint Anastasia was captured again and was condemned to death by starvation for 60 days, yet she was unharmed. It was said that the martyred Saint Theodota visited her every night and gave her courage during this time. Then she, along with the prisoners, was sentenced to death by drowning. Eutychianus, who was condemned for his Christian faith, was among them. They were placed in a boat with holes in the base to make it sink. But Saint Theodota appeared to them and steered the boat to shore. Upon reaching the land, Saint Anastasia and Eutychianus baptized 120 men who believed in Christ. They were captured again and were given a martyr's crown. On the island of Palmaria, Saint Anastasia was staked to the ground with her arms and legs stretched out and was burned alive. She died on December 25, Anno Domini 304 at Sirmium in the Roman province of Pannonia Secunda, or Serbia as modern name. Apollinaria, a pious woman, buried Saint Anastasia's unharmed body in the garden outside her house. Her relics lie in the Cathedral of St. Anastasia in Zadar, Croatia. Before the liturgical reforms of the 20th century, a special commemoration for St. Anastasia in the Second Mass on Christmas Day was done in the Roman liturgy. This daytime Mass was originally celebrated not in honor of the birth of Christ but rather in commemoration of her, and towards the end of the 5th century, her name was also inserted in the Roman canon or Eucharistic prayer. The whole story of Saint Anastasia's life and death is thought to be legendary. But it was certain that Saint Anastasia was a martyr who died for her faith in Christ in Sirmium and her memory was kept in that city. May we learn something from the story of Saint Anastasia. Saint Anastasia, pray for us. Amen.